So I'll go ahead and start this video by saying uh, this is probably the last video you're going to see before the trip. Uh, we are currently on the trip as of you watching this video. And um, my intention is to make several videos throughout the trip. They may not be very interesting. I'm not real sure just yet, <laughs> but my intention is to make several videos and um, release them on a weekly schedule during the trip and after the trip. So any videos that I make beyond the day that aren't about the trip will be seen at the end of the trip. This is a land update. <clears throat> so we've had a tree fall. So um, this is uh, the power post and um, they put this in yesterday. So thought I might come check it out, see what we've got here. So we've got the meter and we've got some pretty hefty looking wire, uh, which I guess, whatever. Um, okay. <laughs> and it goes to what I'm assuming is just a single breaker, but I don't really know how to get this open. So uh, we'll play with that. And then it goes into outlets, which as you can see, we got two 20s and two 15s. Um, so yeah pretty basic i was really hoping that i would be able to slip another breaker onto this and put like a wall connector here um just to plug my car in while i'm down here but it don't look like that's going to happen at this point in time so uh i'll have to go uh, about doing it a different way um but yeah that's that and we're just waiting on the power company and i need to I need to do something with this. I don't know what, but <laughs> I had it tucked behind the job box, but he moved the job box. I mean, that's better. It ain't great, but it's better. Cool. Um, so we'll talk about some other things. Uh, I told you about my fertilizer problem and you can see how this here is, is not as green and that is very green. <laughs> Um, so we bought fertilizer and a big spreading thing to spread the fertilizer with, and, um, it didn't work. I think I told you about that a couple weeks ago, and, uh, we ended up having to spread it by hand. <laughs> so we had a whole bag, we'd open it up, poured it in the spreader, the spreader wouldn't work. So we had to scoop it out with our hands and just kind of throw it the best we could. And that's very apparent that that's what we did because you can see the really dark green spots uh, are where we kind of threw it. And then way off in the back where it's not so green, uh, you, you can tell that we didn't throw it. We didn't put any out through here, as you can tell. And this is the worst of it because the round, splotchy green spots where we threw it, but didn't hit everything. So I came back, um, I went and got my other spreader, which is much smaller, but gets the job done. And uh, I've, I've laid uh, fertilizer on the whole thing, but I don't think I did enough because it has rained, it has been sunny, and we're just, we're not seeing much green apart from this here. I'm probably gonna have to lay it on pretty thick because of what we did here. But in the green areas, it's, good and green and it's growing good and it's thick uh, starting to get thick um right in here i mean we're almost almost can't see the lines anymore which is what we want so yeah that's that <laughs> we are going to go ahead and start digging the well because uh, these are all things that you need to have before you even start building. And, um, you know, you, you have to have a septic tank because if things don't work out and you can't put a septic tank on the land, then you can't build a house. And that's what we had. That was the problem we had with the first piece of land that we bought. Uh, we couldn't put a septic tank on it. So um, we moved over here and they checked. Everything was good. We got the permit, put the septic tank on it. Um, Next thing we need to know is, is there water? And we don't know that. Um, we would assume that there probably is, shouldn't be an issue, but uh, we need to dig the well to know that 
is this even a good place to build? Um, and you know, it's not just, we want to put the well up here, but it's not just a, well, if we can't find water there, we got to move. Um, no, we can look around and see if there's another spot around here that we can get a better water source. Um, anywhere would be fine, but we need to know where it's at and kind of, you know, get that started. And one of the big things about having a well is you need power. So power was the next on the list. And that's why we got that put in and ready to go for the power company. Um, you know, now that I think about it, I'm going to have to tell... <laughs> Um, the power company started a new rule a couple of months ago where um, you can't just leave the power hanging out of a thing like that. Uh, you, you now have to install the bracket that they attach those lines to their lines with and then run it to the pole. Uh, and they used to do that themselves. They used to just bring it with them. Actually, when they came to do my last project, um, they had it with them, but they said they weren't allowed to connect it anymore because of a new rule. Now, there may be one on the top. I'm seeing something on top. I just don't know what it is. It, that may be it. So maybe he did put it on there. I don't know. Anyway, this is a, a little update on how things are going. I like that he ran my camera wire behind. That's pretty cool. Uh, and of course it's grounded. I just noticed that. Cool. So that's a little update on things that we've got going on here. Oh, I have another story. <laughs> this one was kind of a big one. So you notice that the banks are mowed and this one and off over there, which you can't see. So we, we brought our mower here and we were trying to mow the flat spots basically. And we, we started trying to do this bank. This one's kind of steep, so I used the push mower on it. It was kind of a big deal. It was kind of a big job. I didn't like it. Um, and I grabbed the weed eater and I tried to go do this bank. And it's a lot. There's a lot to do here. So um, we were kind of toying with the idea. Maybe we should just hire somebody. Maybe we could hire someone to do this. I don't know what it would cost, you know, but... We'll have to figure something out. We'll either, either have to hire someone to mow it or we'll have to put something on it that doesn't need to be mowed, like rock or mulch or something because it's just too much of a pain in the neck. So my mom knows a guy, she called him. He came by and looked and he said, yeah, I can do it for 300. And I was thinking 300 is kind of high <laughs> to me, but to her, she was like, oh no, 300 is great. Um, that included that bank over there, this whole big bank here, and then the, the lower bank, which we'll go look at. Um, and, you know, to me, I mean, last time I hired a, a long guy, he charged me $75 to do about this much land. Uh, granted, most of it, he could use the mower on it, and there wasn't any weed eating, but, you know, um, I, I was thinking... Even if it were double the price, you know, $150, that would be more than reasonable to me. Um, the guy comes back with $300 and I was like, holy geez. And my mom, of course, oh, that's great. That's a good deal. <laughs> is it though? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm just being overreactive. This bank as well, which we did try to mow with the mower. We drove the mower down through here and mowed this area here and then couldn't get the mower back up the bank because it was too steep so um so we knew that wasn't going to work um so yeah we we hired him and you can kind of see where he used the weed eater and you can kind of see where he didn't and that's what really got me um the guy quoted the land telling me that he would weed eat it for three hundred dollars all of it and, and I'm thinking, okay, you know, I guess, I guess that's okay. He's going to do, you know, the work. We're going to do what we needed. So, um, cool. Well, then my cameras start triggering because he's here mowing. 
and he's on his mower on his zero turn and he does that bank and i'm thinking oh that's okay that's that's a zero turn bank for sure then he goes up this bank and starts going back and forth across and i'm like that's kind of a big bank i don't know that i would do that with a zero turn and i'm thinking well for sure he won't do the back one because it's way steeper i mean this is just straight down and the camera down here triggers he's coming up straight up as far as he can come about right here and then backing back down and coming back up and he did the whole bank with his zero turn and i'm thinking you know i, I get i guess i get it work smarter not harder but this is dangerous and what happens if he gets hurt on my property you know he's just gonna sue me and then it's gonna be my problem um so i told her you know at that point hey tell him don't come back thanks for your work here's your money don't come back uh, because I, I don't want to have to deal with that liability um, you know we're, we're still in the beginning stages we haven't even started building a house so I have no insurance on this land and uh, if someone gets hurt here it's gonna have to be at their own risk that's why I have no trespassing signs everywhere uh, unless you are given permission to be here you shouldn't be here so if you get hurt on this land it's on you um, so I can't afford I can barely afford to build the house. I couldn't afford some detrimental, you know, lawsuit because some guy got hurt because he was stupid. So, um, so yeah, I told him, don't come back. And apparently in that uh, conversation where she called to tell him not to come back, he told her that it was harder than he thought it was going to be and he was going to have to go up to 360 next time. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, we done solved that. So, um, yeah. <laughs> you know, it just seems like... <clears throat> everything with this land there's always something that goes wrong there's always some shady deal that happens and uh hopefully we can get past that hopefully we can get beyond those little deals that that really just raise an eyebrow um i'll probably end up hiring someone else to do the weed eating when it, when it's required um and i'll ask them you know to do it right and i'll be glad to pay them what they want but uh but i'm not giving you 300 or 360 dollars to mow it with a mower i mean like i said my last property i had hired somebody on 75 dollars and he actually started out at, at 50 and he went up to 75 which was fine because it was way way more land than he thought it was but it was it was bigger than this 75 dollars a week to get him to come mow it and um yeah no and this guy you know he wanted to do he wanted to do it all he wanted to mow this the flat spots um but he didn't he didn't tell us what the price was to include all the flat spots the banks was all that he quoted at 300 and then 360 so crazy <laughs> so anyway that's a land update and um yeah the next video you watch next week should be something of the trip and if not um sorry i guess i didn't get it edited in time so um maybe next week so yeah